What's up babes? I'm Steph, your go-to girl for fashion hauls. And before we get into today's video, make sure you give this one a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a video of mine. And I'm actually doing my first Zara haul on YouTube and H&M. I think I've done one H&M haul on YouTube, but I don't buy from them often. I'm more of like a Lulu Abercrombie girl. So I'm expanding per request from you guys. So we are doing that today. I got a lot of good fall items, so I'm excited to show you those. My dog will be chewing on a bone in the background, so hopefully that's not too loud. He's got to be in every video pretty much, or storm, so they will be chilling and hanging out with us today. And let's get into today's haul. Before I forget, I don't know a lot of the names in my sizing off the top of my head. I forget after so many purchases and trying on things and whatnot. So it will be in the description and it's going to take you right to my like to know it so it's easy to find. You just click on the links in the description of that. I'll have my sizing and the name of everything so it'll be super easy to find. If you have any questions, just let me know. This vest we are starting with and I think it's just a staple to have for fall. Like who doesn't love a good fall vest? I think every girl basically looks the same for fall at this point this one's a really good option at an affordable price my favorite are from lululemon because they're super thick and heavy but this is a good alternative um it's still on the puffier side i don't know how warm it's gonna keep you but it's in a really pretty and neutral color which i absolutely love i think it pairs really nicely with this white long sleeve this is gonna go so good with so many different outfits with denim leggings like i have on you can dress this up dress it down like so many good options to wear for fall and I got this in a size small. This one's from H&M. We're doing everything from H&M first. And this is what it looks like unzipped. I love that it has pockets and it's cropped at a really good length with high-waisted leggings or jeans. This next vest is a little bit like dressier. I like the mix of material, the Sherpa on the inside peeking through. And this almost looks like a leather to me, but it's actually really soft. So here, I'll come close so it picks up a little bit better. But I feel like this looks like a leather material. It definitely kind of gives that vibe, um, but it is soft, like I said. So there's like a leather piece, like a stripe going down it, but this part's softer. And I got this in a size small. It's like an oversized fit, which is great for doing layers underneath of it. And this I'm going to have to play around with outfits because it's not typically the best I go for. The first one is kind of more my style, but I wanted to play around with it this fall and winter. So this does have like a belt here and I think that's about it. There is pockets and I'll zip it up so you guys can see what it looks like. I probably wouldn't wear it zipped up, but... This one probably will be a lot warmer than the first one too. This Sherpa is very cute and very oversized. I could probably even get away with an extra small, but there's definitely enough room to still play around and layer items under it, which I like for the colder months because I want to stay warm and look cute. Um, I like the detailing they did on this. They have like stitching going down the side. It kind of just breaks up the Sherpa and gives it a little bit more, not just like a big marshmallow look to it, I feel like. Um, but I like that it also covers the butt, keeps you warmer that way. It's just a really cute jacket for fall. And these are some pretty heavy duty zippers they used on it, which I like. That's my dog scratching at the door. I also got another jacket kind of like this from Zara. So I don't know what one I'm going to keep yet. I might even do both because they are a little different. This is such a good color for fall too because it goes with everything. It goes with like every UGG, every sneaker, like it's perfect. I think this might be my favorite item from H&M that I got. I just love these long cardigans to wear over one pieces or on the house as like a robe instead of wearing a robe. It's just, I don't know, you feel cuter 
This one's not as soft as the other Abercrombie one I got. I was trying to find a lookalike for you guys because that one sold out. It's a little bit like itchier. Not to the extreme where you want to get it off. It's just a different kind of knit than what I normally like. But I love the color so I had to get it. This is just another like fall staple to have. It goes with so much and it's good like workwear option as well. And it does have pockets. I plan to wear this with my one piece and knit socks and Uggs with like my boot Uggs and my Taz Ugg ones. So it's gonna be a really cute outfit for fall. All these are really gonna be really cute. Then I picked up this cute little cropped sweater. I mainly got it because the sleeves kind of like get wider and open up and I think that's a really cute look. And it buttons all the way down so you can either like open it up with a cardigan and wear like a tube top under it or like a crop tank and it looks really cute that way with high-waisted denim. This almost looks like an Abercrombie one I have, but this is more of like a lightweight knit sweater. So I like to have both options. If it's colder one day or warmer, it depends on the sweater I'm gonna wear. This one is a little bit itchier too, but nothing crazy. And this one's more fitted, which I really like. There's not too much extra fabric and oversized. I feel like I buy a ton of oversized stuff, so it's actually nice to have something that fits me a little bit better and this is in a size small and I have one more sweater before we go into the Zara things this actually might be my favorite item over the long cardigan like I feel like this is the perfect lightweight sweater like some are just too hot and this one's just easy like throw on lightweight like I'm not gonna overheat I love the color the neck detailing the sleeve detailing and the bottom are all like a nice little ribbed and it's in a really pretty color just fits really well too this would even look good if you wore like a tank top or a long line bra and kind of like tucked it in all the way around and like pulled it out a little bit i think that looked really cute this is like a nice sweater to go with trousers as well tucking it up i got this in a size small as well and it's the last item in the h m portion of today's haul the Zara portion is going to be short and sweet. I only got three items just because I wasn't sure. Just so I could like test out a couple things before placing a big order. I'm really impressed with how they package their stuff. They had nice tissue paper and a really nice box and it had a sticker. Like I wish I would have got like a photo of it to insert a clip because I really like when brands do that. Paying attention to detail, like customers actually really like that and it just feels fancier. And I would definitely say Zara is a little bit more high quality than H&M and pricier, but they go hand in hand. Usually if somebody likes H&M, they like Zara or vice versa. So starting with the sweater, I got this in a size small. I really, really like this sweater. It's not like a super soft knit material. It's kind of more on the rough side, but I love the mock neck. It was a little hard to get over my head, but it's a really pretty detail on this sweater and I just have it tucked into my bra to go with this like skirt. I thought it was a skirt so it makes me like it a little less because I feel like in fall if it looks like you're wearing shorts you're kind of looking crazy at least in my state at least other warm states you could get away with it but we've been having really nice weather in Michigan so I thought I could get away with this outfit but um, it got really cold we had an 80 degree day, now it's like 40s in the morning and stuff, so this isn't really practical. So I'm gonna hang on to this for the summertime and like when we travel to warm states. So I think this would be a really cute fall outfit for like the warmer time period of fall and doing like sneakers or little booties or something. This was like a, like a regular skirt. I think this would look really cute with tights and like Doc Martens, but it seems how it's a skirt. I just think it would look goofy in the back to just see like, I don't know, the shorts look. So I probably won't get any use out of it this fall in Michigan, but definitely later on. These are a little bit big in a size small, so their sizing might be a little bit bigger than most brands. Um, but I do have a button to where I can just move it over. I got it from Amazon and it'll make it tighter. I just really like the look of this. So it's shorts like I was saying and then it has like this little flap which I really really like on this. Oh, it's just a really cute look together I feel like. I'll show you what the sweater looks like untucked. 
I think I like this Sherpa way more than the other one. It's like a higher quality fur um, and I really like the leather detailing and that it's in a different color. It kind of makes it pop more. Definitely kind of like the same design about buckle, um, zipper and everything. And it fits pretty oversized like the other one. Um, this one's definitely more pricey, but it's higher quality. And the inside's like kind of like a suede material. This one feels really warm too, which I am excited for now that it's cold. But I just love a big oversized like cozy jacket. And that is it for today's haul, guys. I hope you liked it. You'll have to let me know some brands you want me to try out next, some stuff you're buying, like, didn't like. Leave me some comments down below. It helps me out. And I will see you in the next YouTube video.